Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Armored Core. Project Phantasm. Phantasma, rather. I, your Game Master Darius. I, I, I got a little bit of a sneeze. Oh, God. As we left off, we had a mission where we were able to destroy a secret base, or we were able to go forth and protect our own. And we decided to protect our own, because that just seemed logical. So, now we're going to search a facility? There's the facility. Information has been gathered on the whereabouts of the Phantasma Project. It can be located in the subway area of Amber Crown. I assume Stinger is planning on seizing the operation as well, so be on the lookout. Locate your target immediately and destroy it before Stinger arrives. Old Town Area. Old Town Area, sing this song, do da. We're gonna probably die to Stinger a couple of times. Oh, do do da day. Uh, I don't know how many more missions there are to the end of all this because after you enter the area split into two groups and investigate find the whereabouts of the target ASAP we will eliminate them using your information okay main system engaging combat mode fine thing don't get killed by stinger or kill stinger oh god Please just be more MT units. I don't mind if it, there's just more MT units. Okay. Oh, that's my energy love. Gotta let that shit recharge. Whoa, hello. Is that a left to right thing or a right to left? Oh. I guess it might be this thing right over here. Let's destroy it. I'm guessing something inside. Hello. I'm here to destroy your facility. Please don't put up too much of a fight. Please. I feel like I did something. I clicked a button. Something really wants me dead on the other side. Thing or someone. That's a crater. Is it? Wait. Maybe it's just me. There looked like there was a giant gray seam right smack dab in the middle of that crater thing right there. Oh, this is one of those. Oh, I gotta search multiple things for their actual secret underground layer. Alright, alright. Well, this one's feeling. more secrets underground layer -y. Pressing buttons. All I got. I'm, I'm pressing buttons. Uh, this one. I'm guessing by will destroy the thing based off of the information you give us. It's pretty much just, hey, go and do this thing. Am I collecting information?
I, I opened something. Several somethings. Where, where the hell the somethings are? I don't freaking know. I feel like I've made progress. I am on the outskirts of the area. Where the hell? I've already went in that one. Ugh. Okay. So I'm very confused. Oh, top of one of these, is it? Ah. Get to destroy one of these buildings? No? Hmm. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see it. I don't know which of these the buttons I pressed made it so as I saw it, but I see it. I'm a uh, Inside. Whoa. Ah. Come on. Get into locked range. Unless you're on this side. But that wasn't even MTs. That was just more freaking turrets. Alright. Is that another turret? Or is that just another MT floaty MT? That's just a turret. Heck you, turret. Damn it. I love, by the way, how I've totally 100% just gone through with the laser rifle at this point. Alright, so I think I found my way around the goddamn. Hmm. Suspicious door, suspicious. Hello? So, you've come. Oh, hi. <clears throat> I mention that I do not like annoyances. I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you. Yeah, about that. I don't care. Get missile. Or rocketed. Whichever you want to call it. Where the hell are you? Oh, behind me, of course. I can hold still. Good lord, why the hell do you do so much freaking damage? Defenses damaged. Hold 
Resulting combat and re Real talk, do they actually give you access to any of the weapons that the freaking other AV or AVs, ACs in this have? Because man, nothing feels worse than knowing you have not the option to get those badass weapons and armors and whatnot. So you've come. <laughs> Didn't I mention that I do not like annoyances? <laughs> I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you. Sorry, that's what you sound like. Except I'm not sorry because screw you. I mean, on the one hand, we're very much on a different uh, open room at this point. On the other hand, he's still ginormous pain in the ass. Oh my god! is damaged halting combat and returning to the nest what weapon does he even use it's like a triple fire of lasers i'm realizing that the laser the linear gun isn't going to help in this fight either so you've come Hmm. Didn't I mention that I do not like annoyances? I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you! I'm realizing that this is probably the last time we might end up fighting this, this jerk wad. Why must you be like this? My flipping god. Defense How? What am I supposed to do against this? God, this is like fighting against that red fuck at the end of the first game all over again. But this time I actually have ammunition and weapons and whatnot. Alright. Try it like this. So This way at the least I'm automatically turned towards him. Didn't I mention that I do not like annoyances? I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you! One, 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 bitch, 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 one, one, one. I would like some of these missiles to hit. I'm just saying, game. Are any of them hitting? Defense is damaged. Halting combat and returning to the nest. This fight is so stupid. Legit, how am I supposed to fight this guy? His damage output is way better than mine. I'm pretty sure I have something anti-shell, not anti-laser. Uh. All right. So you've come. Didn't I mention this? I do not dialogue. like annoyances. I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you. All right. I have a general idea of how to deal with them. And that idea seems to kind of be working. Oh, I think it's losing out again. Oh 
Oh my god. Defense is damaged. Halting combat and returning to the nest. The nest. Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do against this guy? What did I even do last time? I had different uh, so different unit builds. I really, really don't want to have to go I through this mission. I do not like annoyances. I will never turn over Phantasma to the likes of you. It always does annoy me whenever games are like, oh, this character is going to have a mu not immunity, but like, he's going to have an in infinite ammunition. No, they they wouldn't. I sure. You know what? It works. That is mine. Mine. Let him escape. Uh. We're gonna have some sort of ultimate confrontation thing. It's gonna be like a super long level, and I'm gonna freaking hate it. Sure. I believe that this is the place. Be careful. We were too late. I cannot believe they got here before us. Go find him. We must destroy him at all costs. Oh, we got it. Alright. I guess I can't complain too much now. It's freaking... If his AC is destroyed, and all that fun stuff, then sure, I'm relatively down for that. We're still looking for the whereabouts of both Stinger and Phantasma. Looks like it might be somewhat of a long process, but be ready when the information comes through. Yeah, I'm saving. Ugh. I'm trying to decide whether or not I need to change up my building. I mean, apparently, his greatest weakness is me tanking his hits and just shooting him with my freaking shoulder cannon. But I had known it was that easy. <laughs> Wait, what? Phantasma, this is not a request. I have become Phantasma. I will destroy everything. You have been a nuisance, but I will invite you to the party. Come to the building known as Abyss. Seal the establishment Abyss. Destroy Phantasma. Okay. Might be a longer video as I try to destroy this thing. Oh god, please. Have it just a one on one fight? I beg of you. Welcome to the Abyss. This is where I merged and became one with Phantasma. No one can stop me now. Die! Okay. Woo! Message received. Oh god, my energy is low. I really should have just done nothing but dodge him for a time to see what the hell it even does. Oh my lord. Can I just side strafe this? Nope, I can't. Uh, please. A 
I think I'm just out of range of this attack. Oh, nope. Defense is damaged, halting combat and returning to the nest. Well, how's this uh, game over look? No. No. Just back to the final. Hmm. Last game had a restrain, had a whole game over situation. All right. I think it would be best if I were to load up on shoulder missiles. Just try to do as much damage as I possibly can as fast as possible. So this sucker goes away. For you. And I think I'm gonna swap out the laser. Uh, for one of the arm guns. Fires two beams. Fires two rounds of two missiles at once for extra shots. Like... 120... 50. This is very much a slower dude, is what I'm noticing too. That said, if I need to swap out... Uh... How? <laughs> I think that might be good, although part of me is like I should go for different leggings, but we'll go with these ones for now. The uh, last, last freaking fight, I guess. Launch. This should be, I don't know, interesting. Kind of assumed that there was going to be some sort of a funky game over thing like it did in the first game, so that's where my confusion Welcome was. Welcome to the Abyss. This is where I merged and became one with Phantasma. No one can stop me now. Die! I really hope he doesn't have like multiple stages. Oh, all right, dodging time. Ow. When is it d dodging time in this game? Okay, okay, okay. Defenses. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be one of those fights. It's gonna take a bit. How many more attempts do you think it's gonna take me? Uh, don't answer that question. I'm afraid of the answer. I could just load from the, the thing, abyss. but I want the option to this just where jump back from the main game. One with Phantasma. No one can stop me now. Die. I, I'm gonna try. Matter of fact, I think I'll load up and. Yeah, I'm not sure how the hell I'm supposed to be dodging this guy for as long as he is. Oh my god! Defense is damaged. Halting combat and returning Dude did to the nothing next. but shoot me, like follow me directly behind me and shot me in the ass like a billion times. What the actual balls?
Uh, this is why I edge lorded until this I edge lorded and now I'm evil and edge lordy. I am more machine Die. now than man. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Gotta recover that energy now. Please recover it faster. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Okay. That one is like just balls ass insane for an attack. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, It wasn't a bad idea to pull out the bigger missiles. The problem lies in realizing that those are limited in supplies. Literally, like, only 12. Welcome to the Abyss. This is where I merged and became oh. one with Phantasma. Ooh. No one can stop me now. Die! If I have to hear this a billion times, you guys have to hear this a billion times. Alright. Just gotta keep my energy in mind. Gotta keep my health in mind. Apparently not keep my own psyche in mind. Oh my god, how am I supposed to dodge the missiles? Defenses damaged, halting combat and returning to the nest. What the actual fuck am I supposed to do against this? Give me a moment to discover what the actual fuck I'm supposed to do against this. So evidently I had the right idea, but also there's a little bit of additional bullshittery when it comes to this bastage. So when he's doing that char apparently when he does that super charge thing? Uh, is when he's Welcome to the abyss. basically this immune is to shit. I merged and became one with Phantasma. No one can uh -huh. stop me now. Die. It will register the hits, although when he's performing the blast attacks, it insinuates that it's imperv impervious to damage. Oh my lord. I'm assuming that that's the blast attack of which it's talked about. That takes so much energy to... Oh my lord. Defenses damaged. Halting combat and returning turn... So basically I swapped out for the best plasma cannon that is available which bears a problem in that, yes, it's super powerful, but it takes up literally a third of my freaking energy just to sh uh, take one shot with it. So I guess I gotta make them count. Yeah. Welcome to the abyss. This is where I merged and became yeah. one with Phantasma. Yeah. No one can stop me now. Die. I'm wondering, since I'm basically upfront and personal with this bastage, if there's even a purpose in going forth and... Well. Oh, 
exist. See, I'll lose track of them anyways. And dead. Defenses damaged. Halting combat and returning to the nest. I have no clue how effective any of this shit is, and that's kind of the thing that's pissing me off right now. One moment. Alright, let's try this for about the 50 billionth time. I went and purchased the thing to reduce energy output of weapons. And also the one that should decrease the amount of damage I take from energy weapons, which honestly, to the abyss. if all I'm trying this to do is, is dodge attacks from his goddamn one with Phantasma. big old no blast thing, it's kind of what I need die. to do. Otherwise, this is pain. <laughs> That doesn't feel like it's uh, reduced the amount of damage I take by a lot. Oh, for love of fuck. Son of a bitch, I'm out of energy again. Defenses damaged, halting combat and returning to the nest. I'm running out of patience. That's that's where I'm at right now. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do against this? I think you all know what the fuck I'm gonna do against this. Give me a second. Hey, door, did you activate cheats again? You bet your sweet bippy I fucking did for this. I actually just kind of want to see how impossible this fight is supposed to be because good freaking god, I hate it. Ugh. Welcome to the abyss. This is where I merged and became one with Phantasma. No one can stop me now. Die! Yeah, yeah, I know. Skill issues, all that fun stuff, but good lord, man. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh yeah, keep in mind that he is basically immune when you I'm gonna piss off. Some effort needs to be taken in order to actually hit him every so often. Yeah, that is the attack apparently that he is immune during. I believe it, considering we're talking armor core here, which is a little bit BS of a game. I said it. I'm keep it dissing. So, so I'm losing. Impossible. I'm burning. Fantasma. Destroyed Phantasma. Maybe we could have adapted the technology, but I guess it's better this way. to ask for your help again later. You are quite a strong ally to have. Just give me a discount next time, huh?
Yeah, I was gonna say whether or not where where the hell did you get the money in the first place? As an individual who was captured as an experiment for some time for Phantasma. What the hell was Phantasma? <laughs> I think that's my biggest question right now. Is like, I don't think that was actually answered. Like, is it part of the whole machine thing? So that was our record Project Phantasma. I guess Project Phantasma was a, I don't know, in that same sort of a fashion as if you got yourself in debt, you got the ability to become human plus. And the more and more in debt you became, the more and more that you were able to take up more and more of the human plus aspects. The thing is, that's not appealing to me. I know I say that as an individual who just used cheat codes in order to beat the goddamn game. Let us be honest here. The damage output of that thing was stupid. I had no clue what the hell I'm supposed to do to dodge the missiles, what the hell I'm supposed to do to dodge the blasts, any of that. It, it just reminds me more of that final AC unit that you yeah, fought in the first game, and I... At least this one, though, it's less of a drag because every single time that you try to fight that AC unit in the first game, I keep on forgetting at the same. I just want to kind of call it Red Dog. I think that was it. Every single time that you would go to try to face Red Dog, you had an entire level of platforming and enemies that you had to go through first. And then just, I guess I die. Unless you, you know, you went in there perfectly and was able to snipe every single enemy, save all your ammunition, save all your armor, or the fight against them, and then, then, then Red Dog pops in and kicks your ass, and then you kill him, and then you go, like, 50 yards down the corridor, and then, whoop, there's another one. It... That was far more BS, I think, than Phantasma. Finger Phantasma. Phantasma. Because at the least here, it was you jump into the fight. And that was it. There, there was no like special cutscene thing that happens every single time that you perished. It was, okay, have another go. And honestly, I do praise it much more for that because it was it felt like an actual boss fight as opposed to a wall which red dog felt like that said i i guess i still kind of have little clue as to what the hell phantasma really is besides just an ai i guess i don't know Overall, I really did enjoy many of the missions in this comparatively. It might be because I used uh, save states a little bit more liberally and, you know, actually tried out some of the other weapons a little bit more. Overall, and the story was far more coherent. I'll give it that too. I don't think that there was much in the way of like uh, bridging or not bridging, branching story paths. Just if I did this mission, then I won't be able to do this mission and so on and so forth. Much like with the defend option that we did there. And yeah, I know that this game is about, is supposed to be one of those, oh, be more dodgy sort of a mission, uh, be more dodgy sort of a game, but man, the, it's a noise, it's a visually noisy game. And a whole lot of the enemies are just way faster than you are, it feels like. I I don't know if that's just me having shit vision, which, trust me, I got some pretty shit vision. But it was definitely a lot more fun. Also, where the hell, how the hell can we get this first person perspective? Or is it teasing me with that? Might be teasing me with that. This was a fun game. I'll give it that. Uh, I still don't know whether or not that Armored Core, old Armored Core at the least, is in my wheelhouse because of how it controls. And let me let, let me tell you right now, yes, the analog support 
was infinitesimally easier to deal with and a lot easier to play with than using the D-pad. Like, I, I'm usually one where, like, tank controls don't bother me. Tank controls in this really bother me. Because you just, ooh, it, it just does not feel good. So, uh, yeah. Go, going further into the series, I'm 100% I'm going to use the tank control for the D-pad. Yeah, analog stick. More and more. That said, there's one more game within the Armored Core 1 series of games. And I might as well rip that band-aid right off. But for the now, I'm going to call this Project Phantasma a done let's play. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this series as much as I really did enjoy playing it. I really do suggest uh, trying to get Armored Core 1 a shot and if you can get your hands on project phantasma the bosses are a pretty damn good difficulty it's just that they're a kind of difficulty where i reach my skill ceiling and i really don't have the patience to fight a dude for like two hours these days anymore seriously knock that shit off from software i hope you all enjoy the series regardless and if you want to support the series or support the channel rather consider dropping a like commenting subscribing all that fun stuff helps out the channel lets you know whenever the hell i upload anything and currently that is a three times a day six days a week thing because i have no life and if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion i have a bevy of links down in the description below every little bit helps keeps a roof over my head food in my belly and goes to upgrading my pc whenever the hell i have the extra pocket change ah <sighs> We're nearly done with Armored Core 1, and then we'll jump into Armored Core 2 in the future. Don't know when, just the future. Thank you everyone so very much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next adventure. Take care. Cheers.